India has started process to conduct the Super Shoe Koi upgrade locally in the country with the involvement of the Indian private industry. Apart from indigenous Acer radar modern avionics new weapons and a number of advanced systems, the Indian Air Force is also looking to add new engines on the Su-30, which could mean that India might go ahead with the AL-41F1S engine offer by Russia, or India will select a new 130 kN thrust class engine derivative that is proposed to be developed from the 110 kN engine that will be ready by 2030 for the AMCA program. India also plans to export the Super Shukhoi upgrade package as well as indigenous weapons package to friendly foreign nations that operate the Russian Su-30 aircraft, that includes Indonesia, Malaysia, Vietnam, Armenia and Uganda. Lockheed Martin Corporation has expressed interest to offer the latest AGM 114R laser guided Hellfire 2 missiles to be integrated into the Indian Light Combat Helicopter, which is the primary weapon on the 22 Apache helicopters of the Indian Air Force, upcoming 6 Apache of the Indian Army, 24 MH 60 helicopters of the Indian Navy, and 30 MQ 9 armed drones. The AGM-114 are missiles can seek out their targets autonomously, or with designation from remote laser designators, and has a 3-axis inertial measurement unit to enable it to attack targets from the side and behind. In a significant development, India's Avision Systems Limited have integrated and tested their loitering drones for launch from light vehicles, BMP-2 vehicles, T-72 tanks, and also on high mobility vehicles along with its communication system. The introduction of game-changing loitering munitions on these platforms will provide a flexible option for engaging targets in tactical as well as strategic depths of a battlefield, and will prove to be a disruptor in the modern-day warfare. The DRDO chief has said in an interview that Larsen and Tubro is working with the DRDO to roll out the prototype of the Zora War lightweight tank by next year, that will weigh only 25 tons as mandated by the Indian Army requirement, but it will be powered by a 1000 horsepower engine optimized for high altitude operations at the line of actual control. The Zarawa light tank will be equipped with a two-man turret armed with a 125mm gun, and will likely to be equipped with an artificial intelligence-based swarm drone system to target armored vehicles. During the Sea Tech Week 2022, French shipbuilder Naval Group and the Indian Institute of Technology Goa have signed an agreement to collaborate in the field of underwater signal resolutions. The two sides will work together to study underwater signal-to-noise ratio, and improve the analysis of the data collected by underwater sensors by using neural systems and artificial intelligence, that will help to increase the resolution of underwater imagery for detection of any submerged structure. China had placed a draft resolution at the International Atomic Energy Agency against the AUKUS grouping, that seeks to provide Australia with nuclear-powered submarines. China tried to get the resolution passed at the General Conference, but after India's objective view on the issue, China realized that the resolution would not get majority support, due to which China has withdrawn its draft resolution. AUKUS grouping between Australia UK and the US has opened a window of opportunity for India, to deepen its partnership with France in nuclear attack submarine technology. Thank <laughs> you.